Let's talk about subject verb agreements a bit. Um, in this video, we're going to talk about four specific verbs and how to connect them to the right subject. So we are going to be talking about the verb are, is, was, and were. And all these four verbs are the same verb. They're the same verb, except it depends on who you're using it with and what tense you're using it in. So let's start. I like to draw like a, like a cross. I draw a cross. Um, and then what I do there is I insert the verbs. But before I do it, let's go ahead and label each part of the cross. So on this side, <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and have the past tense. And then on the right-hand side, we're going to go ahead and have the present. And when we're talking about one person, we'll say right there, we're talking about more than one person. So we'll have it below. So now that we have our cross set up, we can insert these words where they belong. Okay? So if we're talking about the past, we're talking about the words was and were. If we're talking about one person, we would say was. If we're talking about more than one person, we would say were. And about the present, we're using the verb is and the verb are. For more than one person would be are. So this is a quick chart that tells you what verb you're supposed to be using. So let's go ahead and start making sentences with these verbs. Or actually, let's hold on off on that for a bit. Uh, let's talk about some subjects. So if we're talking about like a person, you know, like uh, one person, we could say he or she. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's a boy or a girl. In English, it's the same. Boy or girl, we're still going to use the same verb. Um, so if it's a boy, it's a girl, we're using the same verb. So he or she, one person, she was she was so we would say she was or he was um for one person i would say i was now if we're talking about more than one person so like a group of people we could say they if we're talking about a group of people and you're including yourself we would say we now we have they and we have we. So we don't say they was. It doesn't sound right. It doesn't go together. So we would say they were. They were and we were. All right. Now, this is all past tense. So we have past tense. Now let's go into the present. Let's move into the present tense. Again, he or she is the same and I is the same. So we would say he, she, or we would say she is or he is. All right. Now for I, we don't say is. It's a different verb and we're going to use the verb am. So for I, present, am. Okay. So that's the only one that we're going to be changing. Am. All right. So going back to a lot of people, many people, we say they are or we are. Okay, so that is how you use the verbs depending on how many people and what tense you're talking about. All right, so now that we've done this, let's talk a little bit about some complete sentences. So if I wanna make a complete sentence, I could say, let's start with I, past tense. I, okay, now I did something in the past, right? So I was, I was, um, I could say I was wearing, we're going to have to connect it. It's, it's, a, it's a verb that connects to another verb by itself. We could use it by itself, but we're not going to. I was, what was I doing? Eating. And eating has to end in an ing. Um, connects e eating so I was eating your verb is was eating I was eating breakfast sorry it's one word it makes looks like two words but no it's one word breakfast is one word 
I was eating breakfast, period. So now, a couple of things to note here. Let's note. Past tense was, but my verb is, was eating. My subject is I. All right, now let's go ahead and write the same sentence, but with he or she. Let's choose he today, or this time. He, it's one person, so we're going to use the same verb. He was eating breakfast. Okay, no difference. She was eating breakfast. It would be the same thing. Now we're going to still continue talking about the past, but now we're going to use many people. So they. They. Now we're not going to say they was. Remember, what is the verb that we use for past tense? Many people were. So they were eating. Still the ing. Breakfast. So both sentences mean the same thing, except for were means that there was more than one person. Okay. Now, again, we would do the same thing with we. We were eating breakfast. Right. Now, let's go ahead and write them in present tense. So we could say, I am eating breakfast. I am eating breakfast. The verb here would be am, eating, am eating. So for present tense, we are going to use am. But now let's go back into he. Let's, let's use one person, single. He is eating. breakfast okay and again notice that we have is and of course is eating and now it's many people we would say they now we are not going to say is we're going to say and we're not going to say were because we're talking present tense we're going to say are they are eating They are eating breakfast. So, are eating breakfast. Now, we could use any any other verb. We could say like, I, I am jumping. I am learning. I am reading. He is sleeping. He is walking. He is fighting. They are, any, any verb, they are <clears throat> combing their hair. They are watching a movie, but you still have to end those secondary verbs in ing. Okay, but what about the future? Well, what about the future? Well, in the future, we could say, <clears throat> he, let me go ahead and get a different color. He will be. He will be eating. breakfast I will be eating breakfast they will be eating breakfast for the future it doesn't change if it's future and it's one person or two people, they will be, I will be, same thing. All right. <clears throat> so if you enjoyed this video or you learned something, probably not enjoy because you have to learn. This is a this is an educational video. So if you enjoyed this educational video, you learned something, please give me a like. I would really appreciate that. Subscribe, follow, appreciate it. Thank you.